Previously, in Mario Party. We restored the rainbow in Mario's Rainbow Castle. We saved the birthday cake and Peach's special day. We helped the Yoshis reunite in Yoshi's tropical island. We energized the airship in Luigi's engine room. Brought an end to the Babom feud in Wario's Battle Canyon. Found the treasure buried in DK's Jungle Adventure. And battled Bowser on his own volcanic mountain. Now. Hey guys, welcome back to the 8th and final board of Classic Mario Party. Today we are doing a turtle star. We have come a long way since the very first board. And the last board seems to take place on a broken star. I wonder what's up with that. Here we are at a giant star. This star was broken up by Bowser and he even wrote graffiti all over it. This cannot be permitted. If I ever lay eyes on Bowser while... B -b Bowser! Hmm, long time no see. I am Bowser, back from the fire. I come bearing no grudges. I have scattered all those precious stars you collected. Wah ha ha ha. I know, very fast tech speed, but we need to get the star put back together, and we need warp machines to help in doing so. Oh, did I mention that there's a cohort? Come, my cohort! Isn't he frightening? This is my cohort, Baby Bowser. Okay, cohort. The rest, I leave to you. Alright, if it wasn't apparent by my post-commentating here, I am not playing alone! Not only do I have my brother here, but my stepsister as well! And in true Mario Party fashion, I am going dead last! Just like how we did on the very first board! It's coming full circle, isn't it? Alright, so as you just saw on screen, there are seven star spaces on this board guarded by baby Bowsers. This is going to be one heck of a board, I can already tell. I was hoping that my brother wouldn't roll high to show off a lot of the board, but I can at least explain one board mechanic, which is... The happening space! Yeah, Bowser sends everybody back to start. It doesn't matter where you're at on the board, everybody goes back to start immediately. Which is really annoying, especially if you're right in front of the star and somebody lands on the happening space, you are getting sent back. And it just makes you so angry when you've made so much progress on the board and then you just get sent back. I know it does to me a lot. And it might be one of the few reasons why uh, some people don't like this board. Alright, now we can finally show off the board. So, the first thing you notice is the graffiti on each broken part of the star. It is callbacks to the previous boards that we've done. Uh, there's also that drawing of Bowser in the center. I mean, how fitting! Considering this is his comeback after losing on his own Magma Mountain. Uh, we got Boo as well. He's a bit hard to get to unless you memorize the war patterns and you know where to go to get to him. We also have Bowser as well. Uh, he will wreak havoc on this board like he has done on all other boards. Alright, so I'm debating my turn here and where I want to go because I obviously want to be in front of a star for the next turn in case I do end up getting the coins for it. So I decide to go to the left and go for that star that Wario ended up missing out because he didn't have enough coins. And yeah, while I'm landing on a red space, I'm hoping that the next minigame will hopefully be able to net me enough coins for it. And speaking of, I'm the one player in... Crane Game! 
it's truly unfortunate that we all don't have a lot more coins because I could just, you know, wreck somebody's day and take a third of their coins if there were more on the table, but I'll take what I can get. You know, I'll take uh, 10 coins from the chest if I manage to do it in. I love how it shows Wario's eyes looking a little lifeless, while Yoshi looks like the most real thing on the ground as I'm picking up the chest. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't enough to give me the 20 coins I need for the star I'm in front of, but it did temporarily put me in first place, so I can't complain about that. Looks like my stepsister has options, and she is going to the left and joining me. However, it looks like I'm not going to be getting the star that I'm right in front of, but she could get it next turn if she gets enough coins. Yeah, it looks like my brother will not be joining us on the left, but he's going up! And his decisions are not that great. And he's choosing to go to Bowser. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, Bowser Revolution's on there. Maybe? No. We're doing Bowser's facelift. You love to see it. Let's just poke around with Bowser's face, shall we? Ah, this is what doubt face do. As you can probably tell on the lower right part of the screen, I still have not learned my lesson about playing around with the Bowser face before finishing it. So I'm probably not going to get the highest score that I could here, and that will most likely cost me a good chunk of coins. Ah, oh, looks like I'm getting it though! <laughs> Finish! Oh hey! <laughs> I get the highest score! Actually, we all won! What the heck? What the heck? So yeah, this is the first time we've seen everybody win this mini game with Bowser. He just takes 10 coins from whoever lands on him. What a jerk! He could have taken 10 coins from everybody, or just left us alone, but no! He just had to take 10 coins from the one player, which I guess makes sense, in a way. You know, because they're the ones receiving the punishment from Bowser, so... Might as well make it fair. Ah! I'm getting my wish being warped away. And I actually go past one of the stars anyway. Uh, another one on three minigame! Hey! We actually haven't seen this minigame since the very first board! It has been that long since we played Coin Shower Flower! Wow! And we got my brother as the one player. He's going to be collecting probably 95% of the coins because he's that good at the mini games. So, you know, there will be some coins left over for the three players, but not many. What can I say? My brother knows how to clean up! 30 coins! Already! Uh, I guess it's not as impressive as getting whack a plant on the first turn, but hey, he's still got a good chunk of coins out of it! And my stepsister's sending everybody back to start. It begins. It does. Well, I mean, it does count toward the happening star, so, you know, if you want to go out of your way and get that, great. Otherwise, you're inconveniencing the other players from actually making progression on this board. <laughs> hey, 
been right on cue as I was just talking about making progression. My brother won't be making any for the next turn. Uh, sorry about that. But you know who does get to make progression here? Wario, potentially getting his very first star. And things right off the bat do seem pretty normal with you giving 20 coins to him at the beginning. However, he plays a game with you where he gives you a 8, 9, or 10 dice block. And he gives himself a 1 through 10 dice block. And if you can roll higher than him, you get the star. But if you roll lower than him, he takes the star from you. He ain't playing around. So as you just saw there, I believe Wario just got playing lucky and he was able to get his star in the end. Others are not so lucky and they have their star taken away. So it's a matter of luck when you do pay the 20 coins, whether or not you even get it. While it would appear that you have boosted odds with the 8, 9, or 10 dice block, Baby Bowser could still come out of nowhere and somehow beat you. Oh hey, this mini game will actually be interesting to see with three human players. I think I finally figured out why they give you a 30 second timer when the music stops. <laughs> because you're gonna have a lot of players uh, punching and kicking each other to get out of the way to get up to the chest. I somehow managed to take it though! Go me! Looks like my stepsister is after her first star! But will baby Bowser be able to give it up? We will just have to find out, won't we? Alright, she rolls an 8, the same as Wario, but will Baby Bowser roll higher? No, he rolls a 3! That's pretty pathetic if you ask me, because I'm sure Bowser's paying him pretty good to keep guard of the stars, and the best he could do is a three. Uh, well, at least she got her first star, so I can't really complain about that, you know? Just makes you feel good when you get your first star of the game, and you just feel on top of the world. Yeah, Wario's having some terrible luck here, passing two baby Bowsers and not able to get either of the stars. I'm sure things will turn around for him. You know, he's Wario and all. He can make things happen, and he might get a another star or two by the end of his board and turn things around. You know, he's still got time to make that happen. You know, out of all the mini games on that roulette, we just had to get facelift again, didn't we? Ugh, I'm not gonna complain too much, but, you know, how much of Bowser's face do we really want to poke around now? Eh, it's also the same face again, too. Like, Bowser isn't tired of showing that expression, is he? Yeah, I'm still playing around with Bowser's face. <laughs> like, I don't think any of these facial expressions are actually in the game, but sometimes I like to imagine that. <laughs> you know? Because Bowser could be the man of many different expressions. You know, other than, you know, closed eyes and open mouth. Also, I lost that by three points because the nose was turned sideways a little bit. Uh, I guess it really does have to be 100% perfect to win, right? Wow. 
Eh, my stepsister doesn't have enough coins for that star, but she has options of where she can go, though. She can either, uh, get right in front of the next star, or go up. And I'm not actually sure what's up there. Uh, Bowser? Hey! Didn't expect to see you this early. Uh, the Bowser event here is an automatic star steal. You want to avoid Bowser at all costs on this board because he will always steal a star from you. It's horrible. Uh, not only that, he will send you all the way back to start, which may not seem that bad. However, he changed the direction of all the warp machines to warp course 3. So, I have no idea where any of these warp machines are going to take us on this board. And there are three warp courses, so every time you go to Bowser and he steals a star from you, you get sent back to start, and the warp course changes every time. Oh, hey, Bowser, what event are you gonna conjure up now? Ah! Uh, I don't want Bowser suck a war! I really don't! Ah, uh, well, it is three human players against the computer players, so you would think that we would have the upper hand here, but we'll just have to see. Also, I'm not entirely sure who's pressing the pause button. I think uh, somebody's hand was a little bit too close to that button, and it just kept getting pressed. And we did it! We fed Wario to the Piranha Plant! I hope he's happy! I missed. <laughs> All right, my turn, and I roll a ten. I do have options of where I want to go, but I don't know where it's gonna take me. Looks like I'm going back to start, though, which may not be a terrible thing, because I do have the option to figure out where I want to go. Uh, I do decide to go left. Will it be a good choice? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, 103 minigame, and it's Coin Block Bash! Uh, I think Wario's holding the hammer, too. I'm gonna have to get that off you right now, Wario. I don't trust you with that hammer. I really don't. It looks like somebody dropped it and I get it anyway. Uh, not for long though, as Wario's gonna reclaim his hammer back. And hit everybody with it. Finish! Well, I at least hope I got some coins out of it. I wasn't really paying attention to how many, but, you know. At the beginning, I seemed pretty focused. Uh, six coins each with seven for Wario. That's pretty balanced, I guess. 